All right, how to paint amplifier guitar knobs. Basically any knob that you want. This is how I did it. Basically, step one, pull your knobs off. Uh, these are PV knobs from a PV6505 plus uh, head. Uh, I couldn't order colored knobs for the PV because it's a special size, 3 sixteenths. And on eBay, colored knobs are plentiful, but they're all quarter inch knobs. None made for the PV product. So, what I did is I pulled my knobs off. Most of them came off pretty easily. The ones that didn't, I used a flathead screwdriver. Uh, I wrapped it with three layers of painter's tape. This only has one. I'm just, you know, just for display purposes only. But I would put two more layers on here. So you don't want to scratch your face plate. You don't want to scratch your guitar face. You don't want to scratch anything, basically, right? So protect your equipment. Uh, so it's taped up and ready to, to pry after I pried them all off uh, gently of course um, next is to wash them I use Dawn uh, detergent dish soap it's a degreaser and next step is to set up now this is the main reason why I'm doing this video this was my original setup very difficult to find nail heads that are going to fit three 16th diameter inside so that the nail head uh, and the knob is secure and won't wobble you know we're hitting it with spray paint here and these are very light so I'm like well I'm gonna secure them with screws but with there is a flaw here uh, when I do a final coat um, the back row is going to be oversprayed uh, so when I'm hitting this row, I'm going to have overspray on that row. When I'm hitting this row, I'm going to have overspray on that row. So basically, when you're doing your knobs, single file, no overspray. So how am I going to elevate my knob? Because you don't want to rest your knob on any surface. Uh, you're going to have, you know, obviously overspray. It might adhere to the surface. It might stick to the surface. You might get uh, pieces hanging off the bottom of your knob, little, you know, you, you want to avoid that. So you have to be elevated. So I'm like, where am I going to find a nail head? And you can't find loose nails anymore at like Walmart and Lowe's or Home Depot. So I created my own elevation little doodad. Kind of looks like a Hershey's Kiss. Just about, you know, two, three inches uh, of aluminum foil. I make a, a tip out of it to, you know, almost look like a Hershey's Kiss. And I press real hard down to make sure it's flat. And once it's flat, I take my knob, I press real hard the knob, you know, firmly down on here so that it's not going to move around. And, you know, I don't want it jostling around when I'm hitting it with spray paint. I don't want it falling over. So that's that. I mount them. After they're mounted and I have them set aside, uh, next is to set up my single file spraying area. Uh, I, you want these to stay in place, obviously. So what I did was I used duct tape, sticky side up. Here we have a couple. I, you know, obviously you don't want your duct tape flying, so you, you know, I got duct tape holding it in the sides. It really didn't do much. You know, it it was. There was a lip coming up, so it did help a little bit. I mean, it doesn't do a lot of good. The really thing that held it down were the tacks that I have spread out. Uh, where's the other tack? There's a tack over here. Uh, more tacks, obviously, on the end. Uh, so you want to tack down your, your duct tape. Stick your side up. Place them about an inch apart. They're all beautiful. Okay, once they're placed an inch apart, you want to hit them real quick again. You want to clean them with rubbing alcohol and a microfiber cloth towel. It was kind of a pain in the butt, but you basically you just wipe the top, hold the top, and wipe, wipe the sides with your other hand in your cloth and your rubbing alcohol. So now we're at the stage where we're ready to paint. They've been washed, they've been cleaned, they've been mounted with a little Hershey's Kiss. Um, so single file is great 
uh, on my first coat, I just did a I did a, a vertical sweep a vertical sweep here. Uh, make sure uh, your conditions are correct. Read the directions on your can. Uh, and make sure you're uh, spray painting properly. If you see here, my spray pattern is about eight inches across. You never start your spray pattern on your object. You're going to have sagging heaviness. It's going to ruin your paint job. Do not do that. Your spray pattern starts before and it starts after about eight inches on each end so we're not we're not having big splotches and uh, we want our you know we want our knobs to look right out of the factory so that was my first coat second coat uh, well the first coat was a light coat second coat was a wet coat which means just a basic uniform shininess to it you're not going wicked heavy wet coat doesn't mean it's dripping you just want it to be uniform shiny um, so for that, I, I did do a horizontal sweep on the back of the knobs in between each one. Boom, boom, boom. Same thing here. I would start my spray about six inches away, finish it. Start my you know, motion six inches away from the object, finish it. I'm not going to start right on it and it, it's going to ruin it. I'm going to have a big, I'm going to have to clean it up and start from scratch. So start your sweeping motions outside your object. Boom, boom, I did the back sides. Then I went around and did the front tip of the knob. I'd hit it, boom, boom, bang, 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 each one, boom, boom, boom. And after I did that, then I did a uniform vertical sweep on the side, on the top, and I'd walk around the other side and I'd do another vertical sweep on this side. Of course, you know, your pattern has to be correct. Do not, like I said, make sure you're spray painting correctly. So then I did two wet coats, two final coats. So one light coat, two final coats, and it came out Pessa really well. Um, I could even see, can even see the line on the knob heads. You know, you don't want to go too heavy, obviously, or you wouldn't have that line. It's a very pleasant, you know, surprise here. Let's really get in on that. See if we can see how good that came out. So that's it. Make sure you're doing it in a single row fashion. That's the most important part. That way you're not going to have overspray in your final coats. Read your directions. Do it right. Um, if you have any questions, you know, just post them below. I'll be happy to answer them. Um, anything else I'm thinking about? Oh yeah, always do a dust check before you do your your after each coat. So I would I did the light coat and before I did my first wet coat, you know I looked real close. Is there any dust laying on there? If there is, just blow it off. Don't touch it. Don't use any objects. Just give it a quick with your mouth. Get that dust off of there. Boom, ready. Final coat. Uh, second final coat, which will be the third total coat. Obviously, you know, dust check, done. It came out really, really well. Uh, especially for us people who, you know, can't order colored knobs for certain sizes. This is a great little trick. I'm glad to help you out. And I'll post the last clip just showing it on the amplifier. Cool. Oh, actually, let's pull one off. <clears throat> These were finished yesterday. They pop right off. Look at that. Oh, and always wear latex gloves in every stage of your project. One went flying. You don't want to get hand oils on your object because you will see it through the paint. You know, I've done a lot of paint jobs and if there's any flaws there, any oil stuck on your surface, it will show up. It's strange how it would show up through three coats of paint. You get off of there. But it will. So wear your latex gloves during every stage when you're touching or handling. I mean, I didn't wear them when, when I was doing, you know, the spray coats after they were already mounted. But, you know, I'm going to wear them uh, now because I don't want them. They just, you know, they've only been curing a day. So let's, let's do it right. Let's just make sure you don't mess up what we just did. 
So here we go. Let's get this under the light. Pisser. 